Hey guys, my name is Evan, and today we're going to be unboxing the one and only Overdrive Triple Booster. I'm sure everyone has said this who's unboxed this, but this box is huge. Here's my hand. Here's a random, random booster box I have. This thing is humongous. This bad boy comes with Dangerous Belly Owl, Prominence Phoenix, and Savior Perseus as well as a really cool launch here is the back of the box with all the stats for each beyblades i cannot read it to you because i cannot read japanese but i do know that this shows off the all my gimmick the armor and the valkyrie awakening and such but without further ado let's crack this baby open with the box out of the way we can take a closer look at all of these bays Starting off with Savior Perseus. Here we have Savior Perseus fully unboxed. First, we'll take a look at the lair, which is Savior Perseus. The Savior Blade has some unique rubber contact points on all three sides in this nice yellowish gold recolor. The gimmick of Savior is that these little tabs like here can come off in the heat of battle if you've battled enough. Next, we have the Perseus DB Core, which has some unique metal points right here, making it weigh a pretty decent amount above the cores. Here are the teeth. Look pretty standard, nothing special. Finally, we have the three armor. This is the exact same version that came on Vanish Fast. Next, we have the Giga Disc, which is identical to the one that came on Cyclone Ragnarok, as well as Roar Bahamut. A very heavy stamina disc with a unique eight-sided shape. Then finally, we wrap the best part of this entire combination, which is Bearing Dash. Bearing alone is a very good stamina tip with palm material and a ball bearing attached to the contact point. Although it is called Bearing Dash, it is sort of like a Bearing Half Dash because it is not as dashing as the normal dash drivers, but it is much better than the previous bearing, so it's the best you can get for competitive-wise. Moving on, we have Dangerous Belly Owl. Here we have Dangerous Belly Owl fully unboxed. We'll first start off with the Dangerous Belly Owl Lair. The Dangerous Blade itself is definitely a lot more aggressive than its previous Dynamite Blade. It also contains little red rubber contact points right here, as well as some of the rubber stored up here. It looks like it'll be a pretty promising attack type blade. Next, we have the Belly Owl 2 Core. And what's special about this core is that there is a little burst stopper right here, which will come out if you launch your bay hard. The advantages of this is when your disc is sliding through the little sockets right there, it'll stop at the little burst stopper and obviously prevent burst. Next, we have the two armor, which is nothing special. Next up, we have the All Might driver and disc. The very unique thing about this driver is that it has this little metal piece here which can come off, but it is not a disc. It cannot be attached to any other parts such as right now, but it does fit quite nicely onto the All Might driver and it can be placed in a sort of low mode like this, then flipped over to a high mode like this. Not only that, but with this little white tab right there, this disc part is able to move around kind of like the sting disc. On the lower half of the All Might driver, you have this nice palm free spin area with a sort of flat tip right there. Gimmick is when you launch it hard, this little tip will sink in and reveal this part right here as a bigger contact point. Here we have the completed Dangerous Belly Owl 2 All Might combo. Next up is Prominence Phoenix, and as always, we'll take a look at the lair first. The Prominence Blade itself is a real thick boy, and has a super cool gimmick just like its original Revive Phoenix, where if you hit this piece off, it comes off as an extra piece of armor, and you're left with a smaller, a smaller, like thin chip. The singular armor piece from the Prominence Blade is probably just as thick as any other Beyblade layer. 
Now with this armor, there are two ways you can orientate it. So as you can see, when you align these silver parts with the silver part right there, you are in your sort of loose mode, meaning that the armor will fall off more often. You realign it with the blue parts on the top right here here you get a tighter mode which is a lot harder to hit off the armor next we have the phoenix db core which has quite a lot of gold details which i do not mind the teeth look pretty average nothing really special there the armor piece is four i think the same one that came on roar bahamut next we have the tapered disc this is the exact same disc that came on Vanish Fafnir and is one of the more simple DB discs. Next we have Universe Metal which is basically the same as the one that came on Curse Satan. But the main difference is the little metal point right here which adds to the bay's weight and also makes it a lot tighter. This tip is pretty unique among a lot of defense types because it has two free spinning areas like so and kind of acts like an attack type here is the completed prominence phoenix tapered universe metal stock combo now with all three bays covered the last thing to unbox is the launcher here are all the components of the launcher first off we have this nice transparent power gear this is identical to the one that came on Savior Valkyrie, but it is definitely nice to get another. The main base of the launcher, I'm pretty sure has a longer string, which I can't demonstrate now, but it also brings this nice golden color with lots of shine. The last part are the prongs of the launcher, which is what holds the Beyblade. Now this pair is actually quite unique, where it does have ball bearings right there. So as you can see, if you spin it, it does spin quite smoothly. And it also weighs significantly more than the rest of the prongs. Here we have the fully assembled DB launcher in all of its glory. This thing can also be customized with the rest of the DB launchers and is also dual spin if you take out the components and just flip it around the opposite way. Before we get into the test battles, let's put on the stickers. Along with the stickers comes this neat pair of combos to use, as well as a sneak peek for November's Beyblade release. And here we have all of the stickered bays. Prominence and Savior look pretty much the same, and Dangerous got an eyebrow. Now the only thing left to do are some test spins and test battles. Here we are outside ready for some test spins and test battles. First we'll launch Savior Perseus with our new DB launcher. Next up we have Prominence Phoenix. And finally, we have Dangerous Bell. Yeah, we'll start off with a soft launch, then after that, we'll have a hard launch. With the soft launch, the little tip did not come out, neither did the burst stopper. As you can see with the hard launch, we have our tip in here retracted and the free spin is no longer free spinning. And to reset right here, you can press the little lever and it pushes the tip right back up. The burst stopper also activated and obviously to unactivate it would be to burst the bay. Now let's begin with some test battles, starting off with Prominence Phoenix versus Savior Perseus.
Next up, we have Dangerous Belial versus Savior Perseus. And for our final battle, we have Prominence Phoenix versus Dangerous Belial. And so that is going to conclude my review of the Beyblade Burst Dynamite Battle Overdrive Triple Booster Set. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!